up in my desk. I said, come reach your please, you, cause she too messy. Bitch, fuck my dog behind my back, but I ain't stressing. You wanted the game, you should've just said it. We were blessed. You should've just said that shit got messy. Smoking exotic shit, with an exotic bitch. Thinking I'm bringing all kind of narcotics with me. Got guns on the table, I'm like, who fight it still? This bitch got past secured, I'm like, who love me? Cause she too messy mm. The fuck them broke boys with Get out my section Get out my section I pull the muscle God damn Too much flesh Damn Caught them in traffic On the accident We pressing Got em. Smoking Zaza Every second I be stressing If they ain't trying to beat them Fuck it Won't you stretch em? Do that They wipe their nose For that tissue God bless them Wipe it I drop the four Perp I call that shit Cause we well, drink They wipe their nose For that tissue God bless them Wipe it Drop the floor, burp, I call that shit cause we're up drink Huncho. I'm the huncho, bitch, I'm about my cheddar Little hoe keep going out sad, little bitch do better bitch. She want me to hit it, put my blinky on the dresser Got it. feeling free and just like Elon, pop the Tesla Pop it, oh. she ain't got no motion, you can't stand up in my session Get out. I said, Carisha, please, do, cause she too messy please. Bitch, fuck my dog behind my back, but I ain't stretching You wanted the game, you should've just said it, we would've blessed it You should've just said it, now she got messy Oh, yeah, I'm going to with that shit tonight, right? Oh, y'all know I'm going with that shit tonight, right? Hey, you know I'm Tone Bot, you know I'm Tone Bot, you know I'm Tone Bot. We back, Ratchet Gang. We back with another one. We back with another banger. Get the likes up. Look, you might have forgot. Nah, no, no, no. I don't think nobody forgot. But you already know, even if you did forget, it's the king. Too loyal, no, I'm Tone Bite. Ratchet TV. Hey, no, I'm Tone Bite. Um, get the likes up if you're in the building. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Tap that notification bell so you can get the drop whenever I drop. All right, so boom. Man, 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 man. We got to talk, Ratchet Gang. We got to chop it up tonight. We got to get into this Memphis, Tennessee-ish. I got somebody finna pull up right now. We finna chop it up right, right now about this Memphis, Tennessee-ish. Allegedly, allegedly, and everything I say is alleged and it's all under the Fair Use Act. And you can see the Fair Use disclaimer in the description of this video and in the description of all my videos. This is just for entertainment and educational purposes only. This is just to educate my people on what we've been covering over here. Like I said, it's all under the Fair Use Act. And you can see the Fair Use disclaimer in the description of this video. And everything I say is alleged. Allegedly. Let's go ahead. We ain't finna, we ain't finna, we ain't finna fabricate this shit. We ain't finna shake and fake. I'm finna bring my boy up right now. Stan G from Memphis. We finna get into this Memphis, Tennessee-ish right now. I ain't finna hold y'all tonight. I ain't finna hold y'all. Stan, what's up, bro? Oh, man. Oh, man. Hey, y'all already know what's going on, my Stan G, man. We pushing strong in the game, man. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to Reddit TV, my second time around with it is, man. Man, Stan, bruh, I, I ran into you last time because I knew you had this Memphis, Tennessee ish. We've we been cool for a couple years, so I've been knowing who you was. But we kind of touched bases last time you had this Honeycomb Brazy stuff going. You did an interview with Honeycomb Brazy, uh, exclusive, because nobody else, I, I don't believe nobody else got no interview while he was out. Did, didn't anybody get an interview from him? Yeah, I was the first person who uh had a one on one with uh, Honeycomb when he came home. I was the first person who uh, talked to B.E.O. Lil' Kenny when he came home. You know what I'm saying? Like, really, the streets have always been reaching out to me since, you know what I'm saying? Really, since I had started the platform. You know, I, I really call myself the Dale South, you know, um, what, what my guy name? Um, I, 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 I forgot my guy name, man. You know what I'm saying? But you know, like the Dale South Sway, you know what I'm talking about? On a level like that with my own platform, pushing a whole lot of artists and you know what I'm saying? People who really just trying to get to the next level with their business or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? So really, I'm pushing it, pushing the culture forward. That's what it really about. Oh, my. You know, oh Rap man. City. What my guy who uh, used to run Rap oh, City? Big Tigger, Big yeah, Tigger. Tigger. Big Tigger, the down south Big Tigger, man. You know what I'm so talking about? So you, you know trying Big to come at him like Big Tigger. Yeah, so Big Stan. Tigger rap, and he did his thing on that level, and he had his own platform. But uh, you know how it go. Oh, man, let's get it. Oh, man, Stan, but you out there in Memphis. 
So exactly. you kind of, even though you did the honeycomb brazy, he from Alabama, but you still got ties to this whole Dolph shit. Because if I'm taking it back like a year ago, you had some text messages from Raven. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And a lot of people said that shit was fake. And there's been a lot of shit random. Behind. Can you let's just take it right back to there? Because how did you get into this young Dolph situation? Like, how did your name come into this shit? Really, I knew a lot of people who was around Raven. You know, Raven them they they sell Memphis, you know what I'm saying, people, but they also dealt with a lot of, like the person uh they deal with a couple of folks in the east side too. And there's just me. Like I, I I'm from South Memphis, but I graduated from a school in the East Memphis. So, you know, when Raven went on Jerry Springer with my little partner, that was my little partner she went on Jerry Springer with. You know what I'm saying? So I've been touching bases with everybody in the city, you know what I'm saying, the city. It's a big place, but at the same time, you know, I got ties to all types of people in the city. And with the dog situation with her, you know what I'm saying, I know people who knew her, you know what I'm saying. So I when I when I reached out to her, you know what I'm saying, she been knowing me from the entertainment business, but when I reached out to her, I was just trying to get some, some insight on what was going on on her behalf, you know, because she working at cookies i mean at, at the cookie shop so i'm just trying to really we're trying to figure out what was going on and a whole lot of stuff leaked out after that okay so when you did talk to her what did you like at that point just from the beginning what did you figure out was going on from her at that point like from the beginning not now I, just from the beginning from the beginning i kind of felt like she was you know what i'm saying kind of I ain't gonna say she was kind of high in some, but at the same time, I kind of figured she she knew more than she was saying. But I understand that because when you in a case like that that's so big, you ain't gonna just come out and tell anybody everything. You know what I'm talking about? And that's just what it is. And um, what she really messed up at when she asked me, uh, did I know straight drop real name? And I was like, why would you want, why are you asking me do I know straight drop real name? And this, that one, everything got kind of, you know what I'm saying, got kind of sh shook it up, like, far as, like, you know what I mean? Just, just, just think about that. If somebody come to you and ask you what's a, a, a person real name, why are they even asking you that? So do, does she know you from the city? Does she know anything about you? Do you know who she is before this? Do y'all know each other? Uh, no, nah, that's what I'm saying. We, she knew of me through like me doing TV shows. You know, I did nine TV shows, stuff like that. And with the person who she went on TV with, he kind of like followed behind me. Like, that's one of my guys from the city. You know what I'm saying? So I like, basically they took my formula and, and you know what I'm saying? Did they thing with me. And I salute my guy when he did that. Cause you know, it ain't no, I ain't knocking nobody. If you, if you, if you peep some guy, I mean, you do my, the same thing I do. I can't do nothing but salute you, but you know, at the same time, as long as you give me my credit, I can't knock it. I love it. Okay. So you and her meet because of some dude, you know, and she ends up doing Jerry Springer. Now at this point, do you even know she's connected in with the Dolph shit or do you just like have no idea? Nah, at that point, I ain't had no idea. You know what I'm saying? This was way before the dog fight. You said, you asked me how I knew, how she know of me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's how she knew of me. And then, you know, later on, I started my platform, and I was just like, basically, like, come on your come on my platform and clear your name. Because, you know, they're on my platform. Baby. You want to come on my platform, clear your name. Or, you know what I'm saying? You got something you really promote. You know what I'm saying? That's how I was promoting for this two times, because I was promoting them. I promoted his first show in memphis you know what i'm saying so all of this lead right back up to stan g and all the movement stan g just putting in in the game that's that's how really me and raven so was. you just trying to get your name out there no nah, it's a business my name been out there you know what i'm saying but you just trying business. to get you just trying to get out there on some youtube some mainstream shit. you just you just using this trying to you just trying to get your name out there you don't know nothing yeah. that's going on yeah yeah okay. at that point i ain't don't know what's going on so nah. at what point do you figure out like this chick is tied into this shit? Uh, basically, how I kind of really at this point right now, I'm gonna keep it all the way real with y'all. I don't know how she tied into the situation. I just know she, you know, what I'm saying she was, she was doing her thing, far with uh CMG, and so you, know, so you, she, so you do know that she was trying to get signed to CMG or trying to do business with them or something like that. Uh, she just tell you herself. She she shot out CMG and everything. You know what I'm talking about. But you know nobody don't look at Raven 
just keeping it all the way real. Nobody don't look at her as a talented type of person as far as music or nothing like that. Like, I don't even know what she do to even be getting signed to CMG. But I know she was screaming CMG at one point, like, shouting CMG out. She, she messed with this person, that person. She put that out she, to the world. So do you know about this alleged, there was some party that was supposed to happen in Miami. In Miami. Okay. What was that about? So I, I You already knew, so I ain't got to say, what was that party about? Who was there? What was it about? You from Memphis? I don't know. I'm from Dallas. So tell me what was going on at that mansion party in Miami. To be honest, I don't even know what's going on with that party. To be honest, I just heard about it just like you heard about it. So I can't. Okay. So who did you hear was there? You talking about uh, the black youngster them? Yeah, who was there? That's all I heard. I don't really be deep into it. You know what I'm saying? That's so what you I didn't, heard. You didn't hear see, if I take a picture there. or video, I, I, see, I, I got a photographic memory, so if I would have seen a picture or a video, I could have pinpoint, bam, that's them right there. The only thing I say that, that she did was ask about, you know what I'm saying, what straight drop real name, and that made me feel Because you like, know straight drop was there at that party, right? Mm. I know she, she was, know a straight she was there at that party, right? Basically. Trick yeah. or Trey was there at that party. Black Youngster was there at that party. Big mm -hmm. Jip put the party together. Really? Everybody in Memphis was at, the, everybody that was, uh, matter of fact, Hernandez Govan started planning this murder when this Miami trip happened. It, the plan started happening when they went to Miami. Mm, you telling me something that I ain't even know. And then after the shit happens, Raven hooks up with a blogger named Calvin who has these no signs in his name. Now, all of a sudden, this guy is covering the Dolph case, but he's her biggest fan. But you got to go back and realize this guy also was Rainwater's biggest fan in the Mo3 case. And you start to realize, hold on, who is this guy? He's signed to Lil Flip. Who is Lil Flip? Lil Flip is... Hernandez Govan's matter of fact, excuse me. Hernandez Govan is Lil Flip's right hand man, and you were signed to Lil Flip as a shooter. That's wow. Oh my. So you got this Memphis shit going on, and then this dude goes out to Memphis and acts like he's covering the, the, the case of Dolph, but he meanwhile he's with Trigger Trey and Raven the whole time he's in Memphis. That's why he was trying to throw me under the bus. And he just hit me up about 10 minutes ago telling me to come to his show. That's wow. And we did so many numbers over there. I think we did almost 100K over there. We were talking about the, the whole situation with the Dolph thing. That's crazy right there. But you got to realize this dude was signed to Lil Flip. Okay? But, if you're, but you're in the music industry, so you know what I'm going to say. Now, if you go Google this dude's name, there's no credentials on this man in the music industry. This man has no industry credentials at all, but he was signed to Lil Flip. But what were you signed under? Because you've got no, you've done no record sales. I'm in the industry with you now. I know you ain't done shit. Just so what was you? No. <laughs> you yeah, just say no to the motherfucker. Because this dude was signed <laughs> to Lil Flip as a shooter, but this dude is and his number was in Hernandez Govan's phone. And he had an interview lined up with Hernandez Govan a week before Hernandez Govan got locked up. What was you going to interview? What, what was y'all interviewing about if he had nothing to do with the Dolph case and you didn't know nothing? Who the fuck is Hernandez Govan? How you knew he was going to have an interview with him? Because he said it out his own mouth because he's a snitch. Oh, my. <laughs> he he said it. I had a, Oh, I had an interview with him last week, but uh, he got locked up this week, man. My bad, y'all. Damn. Who the fuck would interview Hernandez Govan? No one knew who he was. Exactly, exactly. So okay, so but, basically, but, but, but you say you don't know, who, but you also say you don't know who this man is. You said you don't know who this man is. Y'all never done. How are you signed to Lil Flip and Lil Flip daughter? I mean, excuse me, Hernandez Govan's daughter name is Lada Cash Desto. She got murdered in Houston, where you got ties to, sir. And mm. Lil Flip was at her funeral. But you're telling me you don't know who this is, but this is Lil Flip's right hand man, and you're supposed to be Lil Flip's right hand man. Mm. But now you're covering up the Dolph case, and now you got a cookie deal with the same people who I can prove to you right now. I can pull up a video of Hernandez Govan at the crime scene when Dolph was murdered. He was there. So, how was the man who plotted and was the mastermind and was arrested as the mastermind behind the death? How was he? At the crime scene, 
connected to the person you're assigned to and you're covering the Dolph case and you took this cookie lady under your wing and now all of a sudden you don't know who this is. There's something fishy about that. Oh my. It's something deeper with, hey, let's go. We got to, I mean, just say no. We just got to just say no. That's the new thing. We just say no to little folk. <laughs> hey, you got to explain that, man. He got to break out everything. You just say he got to break it down for real to 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 simplest form because that's crazy. You just read a book about dude right there that I ain't even know. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm telling you what this is because they tried to run the same play on you that they did me because they were trying to get me killed out here in Dallas. Whoa. You understand that they tried to use the same tactics as they're using on you right now to get to you to get to me, but I wouldn't let them do it. And that's why I tried to hit you up earlier, like, hey, fam. That's why Raven asked me to go to the to the uh dog funeral with her. This is getting crazy. You this see what I'm saying? They uh, trying to get you in this shit because you know what the fuck you you got the information. And I was trying to tell you, hey fam, be careful because there's some shit going on that you don't know about. Exactly, but at the same time, though, like it, it's about five people that that really know what's really going on and watching every single movement, like everybody movement out here. So the story is gonna be written correctly. Oh my! So when I ask you, what is the situation with Raven in Memphis? Basically, Raven is on uh, like she been kind of ducked off. Like nobody ain't really just been. You know, uh, going heavy on Raven lately. You know what I'm saying? So they they trying to. I ain't gonna say just trying to cover the dog thing up, but like you know, times heal everything. But a situation like this with the Juke situation blow everything back up. But basically, it, it been getting kind of quiet for a little second. But you know, though, it's sixty days before the trial start, and, and this, you know, Juke you know, name came up in two cases. Whoa, what two cases? The Juk name came up in the case of a Linda Faye Mims. Mm. I, I got the paperwork right here. I can show you right here. I, I, I got all the paperwork. I'm going to explain. What is name came up for? Look, here we go. We got Linda Faye Mims, cocaine conspiracy. His name came up in this case right here. Two different times. And this is the... United States of America plaintiff Linda Faye Mims in this case right here. And this is the case that his name, I got all of the case paperwork in this. Mm. This is why he got killed right here. And this is, and what, what name is this right here? Stan, tell me, Stan, you in Memphis, right? Mm -hmm. What name is this, Stan? Oh, I can't see this jump. I'm, I'm going to zoom in for you. Oh, Eric Bovan. Who is Eric Bovan? That's who. That's who just. That's who funeral that was just at. <laughs> Ratchet TV has all the paperwork right here. Okay, so Eric Bo. So what they saying? Big Jug Nine came up with Eric Bovan paperwork. Yes, an informant right here. As you see, this is all the paperwork right here. Look at all this. So you trying to tell me Big Jug was an informant? I'm just trying to tell you Big Jook was fixing to be in a big case with Bovan. Bovan had to go and Jook had to go in order for your boy Yo Gotti to run free. Mm -hmm. Eric mm -hmm. and Janet Bovan. Who is, who is Eric and Janet Bovan? This is a cocaine network. This was a big case that was about to happen out there in Memphis with informants out there. Mm. And who name was in it? Your boy Juk. I got all the paperwork. Your boy Juk. He's he's in this paperwork with uh with Eric and uh, Janet Bovan, and in Linda Mims, Linda Faye Mims. So this is why he got took out. A lot of people think this has something to do with Pre, but this wasn't Pre's work, bro. This was Yo Gotti trying to save his or save his own ass. Mm. So basically you saying but see thing about it, a lot of people already feel like God has sacrificed them on a lot of other situations because 
even that situation with you just saying about Eric, then we got the situation with Dolph. You know, all that in one, you know what I'm saying, is, you know, it, it basically, it, it only makes sense at this point. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people say, like, no, God, God wouldn't do his brother like that. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people saying that he had real deep love for his brother. So why would he end up taking his own brother off? Okay, so why was he at the funeral with his brother and said he wasn't there? But I got footage of him at the funeral. And then he said it was bad weather in Memphis, so he had to dip and he had to leave. This was all coming to me last night. I was at the game last night. I don't even know. I didn't even know Big Juke died. I was at the game last night. Somebody hit me up and said, Gotti set Juke up and he left the funeral early, left Juke there. They got the drop on Juke's car. A girl was already there and got the drop on Juke's car. Juke mama got in the back seat of the car. Juke got in the front seat of the car. They followed them to the apartments where the repass was. The repass happens and they knock him off. And his mama jumped out the back seat of the car, took off running. And, and Juke was in the front seat of the car and they knocked him off and left him on the ground. Ooh. How was how did I know all this last night? Because you're on top of it. Cause I ain't gonna lie, you 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 point you on point you on point to the max. Cause that's basically what I what I was hearing. You know what so I'm saying? Tell me what you heard happened, Stan. What happened? I heard I heard his mama took out running. Jerry took out running, and basically everything you just said, everything you just said, I heard. It, you know what I'm saying? So it's crazy. How how would you know all this? I had this information last night. I just didn't go live with it because I didn't. I was at the game. I was busy, but. Last night, someone hit me up from Memphis, and I ain't going to tell nobody who, but someone credible in this case that everybody knows hit me up. They called me, said, hey, Ratchet, I just want you to know, Juke died. Yo Gotti set him up. I'm going to tell you what happened. The girl got the information. She got the drop on the funeral. Yo Gotti left because he said the funeral was, uh, I mean, excuse me, the weather was going to be bad in Memphis, so it's supposed to snow in the next two days. So Dolph caught the next flight out, but left Juke there. Juke said he was going to stay there till Tuesday. Juke was supposed to stay there till Tuesday. They got the drop on the car. It was three niggas in the back of the funeral. The whole time they was watching Juke and Dog, I mean, excuse me, and Yo Gotti, but Yo Gotti, he peeped the play. So Yo Gotti got the fuck up out of there. While the funeral was still happening, I heard Yo Gotti left while the funeral was happening and left Juke there. Juke gets into the car with his mama. They follow him to the apartments and his mama, they pull up on him and start spraying at the car at Juke. They, they hit Juke. 10 plus times and his mama jumps out the back of the car and runs. They ain't aiming for her. They ain't trying to get her because they could have got her because she was right there in the crossfire. She was right there. They didn't want her. They just wanted Juke. And they saying this wasn't PRE. This wasn't pre. It had nothing to do with pre. This was an inside job. Oh, yeah. People know it, it, it's basically uh, it, it come it's an inside job because it's a lot of stuff that, that went on with their family and 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 the the moves they've been making, let me just say it in that type of way, the moves they've been making, it's a it's a lot of stuff that went wrong. You know what I'm saying on neighborhood. So it started off on them versus them, but then it ended up is is basically their own people versus their own people, and they just had to go, especially when stuff went wrong and so. So now they got to clean up. They're like, now they playing clean up, if you understand what I'm saying. So you being from Memphis, have you heard any connections between, like, the cookie shop and straight dropping these boys? The cookie drop and straight drop? I mean, like, the cookie shop and straight drop? Yeah. Everything is one conglomerate at this point. Just keeping it real. Everything is one conglomerate, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody know who pulling the strings over there, you know what I'm saying? Everybody know everybody know like who pulling the strings, why they pulling the strings, and why gotta end up going to get them people to pull the strings. But it end up blew up in their face. You understand? So what I'm asking you is, is have you been from Memphis heard that that cookie shop is connected in with the killers. With the killers? 
maybe the killers connected in to the cookie shop. They know what's going on at the cookie shop, and they gonna make sure everybody good on their end. So I ask you, how how is it possible that Juke was the one who who put the money up, right? Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Juke put the money up. Allegedly, and then allegedly, not only did Juke put the money up, but Hernandez Goban took this upon himself to put this play together. This is what the cops are saying. I don't know. I'm just going off what the cops said. But the if cops, Juke put the money up, how 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 is Goban putting the play together himself? Because Goban wants the money. But if he putting the money up, if he want the money, he's doing it for the money, right? Okay, so he's doing it for the money, and then he ends up going to the crime scene because I got footage of Goban at the crime scene. Yeah, you said he had he had the paperwork. He was in the paperwork. No, 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 no. That's both. Big Jook, Big Jook, not in the paperwork. No, no, no. Listen to me. I got Govan, Hernandez Govan. He's the mastermind. This is what the cops are saying. I don't know. I'm just saying, based off what the police are saying, they saying he planned the whole death. But Jook put the money up. Well, where they come from? Did I just want to know? Okay, so Juke you don't know. You, you you never heard this, right? Uh, no, 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 no. I ain't saying I ain't never heard it. I'm, I'm just saying. No, no, like, no, no. I'm, I'm asking you, have you ever heard Jook put the money up? You know, this going around everywhere from from the beginning of you know from the beginning of time. You no, know what no, I'm saying? Listen even me. when have even you, when my ever, guy, uh, have you ever heard that Jook put the money up in Memphis? Salute to Grove Hero. Okay, because Grove Hero put that out there. I didn't put that out there. Grove Hero said it was a forty thousand dollar hit. A forty thousand dollar hit on Yo Gotti. I mean, I'm keep on, it real. On, on my guy dog. Grow Hero say anything. I believe my guy Grow Hero. This is my guy. Shout out Grow Hero. I ain't gonna lie about my dad. Now he a real cat, like from the streets. I, I I ain't gonna lie. I believe anything my guy say. Okay, so if Grove Hero said it out his own mouth, I didn't make this up. Grove Hero said it, and you saying street nigga to street nigga, you believe him. He said, black youngster, he didn't name Yo Gotti. He said, black youngster, Juke, uh, Lil Migo, and I forgot the other fourth name, but he said, these four people are the uh, these four people are the people who are responsible for Young Dolph's death, and Juke was the one who put up the $40,000 on his head. So if Juke put up the $40,000 and we can connect Juke in with black youngster, and we connect black youngster in with Hernandez Govan, and we connect Hernandez Govan up with this blogger, and we connect this blogger up to this cookie shop, it starts to show you Simple what? mathematics. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, all the hate for Dolph came from that way. Them names you just said, all the hate came from that way. You're right about that. You're right and about they, that. And they use the blogger to cover up the whole thing. That's why they're now coming to, to Stan G asking questions. Because they came to Jeremiah Taylor asking the same questions. You know who Jeremiah Taylor is, right? Break it down for the people. Okay, so Jeremiah Taylor was the guy who was keeping up the mural in Young Dolph's death. And he was the one responsible for the mural at the Makita's Cookies. Exactly. Jeremiah Taylor started going on this platform with this guy with his no signs in his name, Just Say No. He started going on this, this platform and ends up getting killed in the midst of the Dolph case. Mm. Not only did he die, there was also a Caucasian guy who was up there giving gems on the Dolph case. He ends up dying on that same platform. There's mm. two people who died on this platform. No one speaks about it. One guy knew a lot about the Makita's cookie situation, knew a lot about this, this Dolph shit, and he ends up dying. The other guy mm. knew a lot about the Dolph shit. He ends up dying. Common denominator is it looks like Hernandez Govan is covering up all his tracks, but he's using this blogger to do it. Exactly. Oh, my. Because and that blogger hit me up today at 6.03. And you showed me that. You, you showed me the nigga hit you up today, trying to get you on his platform. And I'm telling you, and I told you before that they're trying to get you killed. Oh, my. I hate it for him. I hate it for him. So how does that make you feel, man? Man, it really made me feel like um, I've been betrayed it by just say no because uh, at that point in time I was 
I was helping him out in a major way and giving him, you know what I'm saying, leeway to get seen in the city and be a real cat for, for my words. My words so golden. If I say he cool, they, they gonna look at him as, as being cool. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, if you notice, I, I told Raven how to clear her name and then she went over there and took the information that I gave her to school and I saluted school like mine. Do your thing. You know what I'm talking about? But really, school took the play and ran with it. You know what I'm saying? But he felt like I was, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was hating and I didn't put the whole play together and I told him go with the play. You know what I'm saying? That's the crazy thing about it. But, you know, Blog was thinking all types of ways and I see how he was playing it from the get-go and I ain't know really he had a plan before all this occurred with the whole situation. So that's kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's why he was laughing at the point and trying to make me go hard on, you know what I'm saying, on that whole situation when me and Raven first ended up getting into it. He brought us on his on his site, thought me and Ho was going to go in an all-out brawl. But I, I, was, I, I, I fell back on the whole situation. They kept it so clear. It didn't even go the way he thought it was going to go. But, yeah, I feel like bro betrayed the man. You know what I'm saying? And, and the thing about it, you don't cross good people. You know what I'm saying? Because when it's said and done, that man no stir, don't play about me. You know what I'm saying? Sooner or later, it's going to fold everything. You know what I'm saying? The world going to see. And that's just, that's just how it go when folks like that play with me. But I ain't tripping off for it, though. Everything good. So have you heard anything out there in Memphis as far as – that cookie shop is concerned. Does does anybody feel like they are connected into the shit? Or everybody just feel like they cool? Or what's the word about them in the in the city? But I feel like just like big jook situation. Y'all just gotta really pay attention. Let me get all the way real. If y'all pay attention to everything that just really went on, the Dolph situation and the big jook situation is similar. You understand, G? Peep game. When yeah. the when 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 they got the drop on Dolph, basically, knowing when you gonna come back in town. When they got the drop on Jook, knowing when he gonna come back in town with the funeral thing, a calculated move was already set on both situations. So if it's similar situations, similar things happen. You gotta understand similar people cause and effect. Oh man. So do you feel like Raven was connected in or the cookie shop? Either or Raven or the cookie shop was connected into Dolph's death, being from Memphis. Um, I can't pinpoint it and say for sure, do but do I feel I feel money? can make anything move, especially when you look at certain people's background, you know they thirsty for certain thirsty for money. And you know money make things move. I feel like anything can happen in that type of situation. But at the same time I know what type of players we working with, players they dealing with in those type of situations. They were gonna make it happen regardless with or without the cookie shop. But just because this cookie shop sit right there between South Memphis and a mile you got to understand, like, a, a couple of people got ties to everything in that area. Yeah. yeah. They ain't finna play no games. Oh, my. Stan G, who was over there snoring, Stan G? Hey, my G. <laughs> it's all love. It's all who, love. Who, who's snoring, good. Stan G? We got to know who's snoring over this there. This is my G. This is my G over there. Oh, oh, y'all hear this real good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can hear him loud and clear. Too. My, loud yeah, and clear. man. Yeah, it, it, my G right there, man. You know what I'm talking about? We ain't sleep on the game, man. We got to take turns going to sleep because anything might happen, man. You know what I mean? Do, do, do you feel like this Dolph shit is going to get somebody, like, on the internet knocked off in Memphis? Oh, uh, you just said it already, yo. I mean, it has, but, I mean, do you feel like more is to come? Do you feel like – because On the internet, I'm going to keep it Memphis, Memphis ain't playing. On the internet, if they can get you, they'll get you. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, though, bro, like, you got to understand, most times stuff happen because it, you you sit in that place to to make it happen. If you a sin duck, then you know what's up. You know what I'm saying? They just had to go. But at the same time, you moving around and you staying on point, 
You know what I'm talking about? If y'all take turn going to sleep or whatever it is, man, you gotta be you gotta be ready for whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Like this this this, this snowball effect that we got going on, like this this a being uh plan we got going on right now. Can't nobody stop this. You know what I'm talking about? Like so, so do you feel like there's a war going on in Memphis right now? Of course there's a war going on in Memphis right now. You know what I'm talking about? It's two sides. I thought they were going on in every state. Now, is it truly is it truly mafia and double R still to this day? Uh, truly mafia and double R, really truly mafia. Like, um, it's big. Uh, I can't. Now, I don't feel like they the main people that's running things in Memphis right now. Just to keep it all the way real, you know what I'm talking about. And it's different levels to Memphis. You know what I'm saying? You got you got people who really run the thing for the entertainment world, the stand G, and you got people who run it on the street level, who kind of mixing in with the entertainment level. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, you got you, you got all types of players on the board in Memphis. You know what I'm talking about? It's people behind the scenes who really running things. You know what I'm talking about? Like. Okay, but when just, we talk, okay, really, so but but when we talking about Double R and Trula Mafia, the the face behind everything, if we really looking at it, was Juke, because Gotti's whole get up, his whole career was based off of Juke. Gotti don't got no rep in the streets in Memphis. I'm just I'm just going off what I'm told. I'm not from Memphis. I'm from Dallas. From what I'm told in Memphis, Gotti ain't got no rep. It's all Juke. This is Juke lifestyle. He talking about everything he talking about is Juke. This ain't Gotti. This is Juk. So the man behind the mask is Juk. So if you're talking true La Mafia or double, you know what I'm saying? If you're talking the, the behind the scenes for real, for real, CMG, the back end was Juk. He was the money. Yeah, he was the money. But at the same time, let me not lie on nobody. I'm, I'm going to keep it real. Gotti didn't kick those two. I'm going to keep it all the way real. You know what I'm saying? Even though that ain't my side or nothing like that. And I don't feel like Gotti didn't. Got it and did the right things all his career, you know what I'm saying? But I never knocked no man, you know what I'm talking about? Like, if I, I didn't hear real things he didn't did, but he he do rap mostly about his brother lifestyle. You know, a little brother, I was going to look up to the big brother. Y'all know how that go. But you know what I'm saying? He well, he didn't done some things out there, you know what I'm saying? And he ain't no pooper, you know what I'm talking about? You ain't going to play with him and think you, you ain't going to get played with back in some type of shape, form, and fashion. You know what I'm saying? He, he lived his life. I'm proving that he that nigga, and that's one of his mistakes he done made as of right now. You know what I'm saying? Like him proving that he gonna do something to a nigga, he do it every time. And, and if, if if you think he if you think he playing, if you think oh, I'm just talking, just think about every situation that then went on. Even the situation we talking about right now is him proving the situation. He proving himself, and that look at the cause and effect. You know what I'm saying? He proved that he, you know what I'm saying, on, on the whole situation with Dom and that, look what the other side had to prove. You know what I'm saying? It's an ongoing thing. like, And, and that's why the black culture, we going down as a whole. Us, so I do you... Our gangster. Okay, so with that being said, that means Juke is the one behind everything. Yeah, uh, if you want to put it in that shape, form, fashion, of course, my brother's key. Because Dolph was Dolph's was, issue wasn't with Yo Gotti at this point. It was with Juk. I can you can kind of say that, but you know your big brother always gonna go all the way out, like all the way on okay, the deep put it like this. At this brother. point, Dolph and Gotti can coexist. It's Black Youngster and it's Juk. It ain't really Yo Gotti at this point. Yo Gotti's like, hey, it's out of my hands. I'm chilling, but my niggas, I can't control them. Exactly. Okay. So, but but he can't control Juke because Juke is the reason why Yo Gotti's even in this position he's in in the first place. But it started out about a female. It started out about some rap and the entertainment. That's where I come in. Yeah, I mean, all, it's, it's always behind a bitch. But. And then the female made it get a little bit more heated. Then the shoe makes it get more heat. Then the big brother like my hell yeah, now, nah, you know what I mean? That's where it come out and, and it get real, it get real deep. When when other people join in, then the CMG brand join in on a hate uh, like on the hate way. Like get up and then we gonna do it. Then black youngsters jump out the my no, nah, it ain't no 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 no. You know what I'm saying? He, he ain't gonna let it die. He gonna make it go up even more. See, it's just that whole thing that made it even more and even more nasty. Now they can't even in the city and be comfortable. It's more paper route people and, 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 and you know what I'm saying, folks on this side 
they really can stay in Memphis and CMG folk can't even be in Memphis because of the things they didn't did. You know what I'm saying? So people on the outside looking like CMG run the city. CMG ain't even in the city to run the city. So who really run the city? The people who staying in the city and who really give it back to the young and really raising the young dudes and got young soldiers around and shout out to everybody on the town like the uh, young mobs and you know what I'm saying? People like that who really who really control the streets and control the entertainment on the entertainment level who really know how to keep this thing together. Shout out to them guys. Okay, so you being from Memphis, who are they saying knocked off off? Who are they saying knocked off off? Yeah. The news is saying that. No, 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 no. no. The news is saying that Shondell Barnett and Woodrow, we can look at the pictures and tell that's not what we're we all know. So I'm just talking from the streets. You, you saying y'all y'all think the news lying about what's going on? Yes. You you said the, you, okay. You said so do you be, do you believe the news? Yeah. Who who they said you who you just told me who who they said playing? They said straight. Stuff. They said straight drop. Shondell Burnett, Hernandez Govan, and uh, Cornelius. Pull this off. So, and you think they lying? Yes. Mm. Why would you think they lying for? Because we all know that Cookie Shop is tied into this shit. Because I just told you Hernandez Govan was at the crime scene. Man, I got, foot, see, I got, I, I got footage. I got footage of him at the crime scene. I Everybody got, in here showed. I, I, I got footage. I've showed the whole world. Hernandez Govan was on the crime scene when he died. So how was he at Makita's Cookies? When this happened, Pete and, guys, and hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me finish. Not only was he at Makita's Cookies, you can look at Makita's Cookies right now and see they're tied into a Just Say No. And that dude got inside footage of the place. How? How'd you go into a crime scene when you were, you were, you would be, you would be uh, t- tampering with evidence at that point? How'd you get to the crime scene without without police escorts? How are you able to touch evidence without police escorts? And then you come to find out this same fucking dude is signed to Lil Flip, who is Hernandez Govan's best friend. How you know her then Hernandez Govan ain't no straight cold bloody killer who will say and who will watch somebody who will end up doing something and then go back on the scene and not giving a fuck about a thing. I mean, he could be that heartless, but you got to see. Have you ever seen, you seen that, uh, oh, let me, I, I don't like bringing up nobody in channels, but you might need to go look at that channel with True put that, uh, that video up, and he said, Hernandez go back, and like, you see somebody jump out of the car and run and flinch, not one time, and somebody got cleared right in front of his plate, he had flinched, not one time, just that right there. Hernandez Govan is a killer. He's Lil Flip's best friend. He's signed to Lil Flip to be a killer. You get what I'm saying? You got people that sign like Chief Keep homeboys or King Von homeboys. They're, they're not signed to rap. They're signed to knock people off. They're signed so to catch cases. when you got a name like that and people people call on you to have the business. Exactly. And they know you ain't scared to have the business, right? So how the fuck is it possible for your man that's doing business with you like that to not know the nigga that signed with you? It's no fucking way you don't know this man. Just say no, and Hernandez Govan are friends. And that's why Just Say No is keeping his motherfucking mouth closed. He might don't even want to step around it and play in that type of circle because he already know, like, man, either I'm going to do it right or, I'm gonna, or I ain't going to do it at all. Because they're going to kill him. Just like so, he's going he's to he's trying to save his own ass and put Raven in the mix. So they're going to get Raven before they get him. But as long as they don't say too much, you know what I'm saying? You know how it go, you know? But, you know, they, they just had it go in this game, bro. You know what I'm saying? You you can't say, you only can say so much with any type of situation, especially, you know what I'm saying, doing what we doing, playing in the streets. You know, you only can say so much, you know what I'm talking about? Because your mouth can write a check, your head can't care. So you That's being from right Memphis, there. you haven't heard none of this. What you mean I haven't heard? Like, bro, I heard all of it. I'm, I'm hearing what everybody's saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you gotta, you gotta understand. Like, 
after I get through here and all that, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, like being from the city, you know certain things, but at the same time, you want to speak so much about it, you know what I'm saying? And that's just what's going on. But see, on my channel, I, I, I break it down like 15 minutes at a time. They look at Memphis thing, G, I give them, uh uh, I give them just enough, you know what I'm saying, at a time. But if you can read between the lines, you'll understand everything I'm saying. I'm not going to blade lists come out on no channel and be like, this person did that or this person did this. No, nah, that ain't okay, me. So, my so let me ask you this, Stan. Does Memphis feel like the cookie shop is behind this hit? Or do they feel like they clear? Mm. Man, I don't feel like nobody in the club because I know money, cash rules, everything. I'm just talking about what's the, what are they saying in the streets? I ain't talking about you in particular. Just what are the people in the streets saying? Are, is this cookie shop guilty? Because some people say that, that, that the car got bullet holes in it from this and, and this happened because of this. The daddy say he wasn't there. She, he, he was there. A lot of shit that we know from the beginning to now what is Memphis saying? Is Memphis saying, fuck that, man, this cookie shop is guilty? Or are they saying, man, no, 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 leave them people alone? Uh, Basically, people ain't talking. They, they ain't talking on a, on a cookie shop. They The the people who who, who they who they got in custody, bro, people is not going to talk against them people. You know what I'm saying? Because they know, like, they know the street code. And they know it. You said, I mean, if I was dropped behind that, you know what I'm saying? Because... Uh, loose lips, loose lips ain't shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? People I ain't playing out here. You know what I'm saying? And and thing about it, you can't beat a person who uh, form an and a killer because that man they don't give a fuck about the police. They don't give a fuck about no nigga. They don't give a fuck about shit. You know what I'm saying? So you can't beat a form an and a killer, bro. You know what I'm saying? They that's a dangerous person to play with. You understand, G? Yeah. So. You gotta understand, like then you don't know who, who, who inside the cookie shop who could have played a played a role in it. You know what I'm saying? The like I said from the get go, bro. Dog situation and big juke situation is similar. Similar shit happen coming from a similar place. That's all thing I'm gonna say. So why is big juke dead? Why is big juke dead? Because. It, it was it, some shit must went wrong. Some shit, some shit went wrong. You know what I'm talking about? And and uh, in every, I feel like in every situation they done played it. You know what I'm saying? And thing about it to keep, to keep, to 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 keep some to to make sure certain people don't get locked up. Certain things gotta happen. Let me know. This is how it go. Okay, so with that being said, do you feel like CMG was behind Dolph's hit, Juke's hit, or both? Uh, for sure, I think CMG energy was behind Dolph's hit because that negative energy brought negative things around and negative things happened. Of course, the energy of Yo Gotti made a lot of people feel a certain type of way and move a certain type of way. And this is exactly what happened. You know what I'm saying? So that energy transpired to killing and then that killing transpired to big joke dying. Cause the energy from Yo Gotti and to Dolph, and Dolph, the energy of Dolph dying transpired to big joke dying. So the energy really made everything class. So do you feel like it's over? Oh, that energy still out there. You know what I'm saying? So it might be a back to back type of thing, but type of situation because it's so much. Man, you think God is gonna just sit back and watch his brother end up dying? And if he do, how the streets gonna feel about it? And God is about proving what we said earlier. He about proving himself. He a gangster, so gangsters don't don't go hide in the corner. They they go move. They go make gangster moves and gangster things happen behind that. So now I don't think it's done. You know what I'm saying? It just, it's just a slip of goals. So do you feel like there's a war going on out there in Memphis? Oh, yeah. It's a war going on in our culture for the longest in Memphis. You know how it go. It just wow. intensified because more money has been made and more money is funding wars. And so if you got more money to fund your war, more things will happen. Bigger guns with bigger funds. Why, why, is, why is COTZ dead? 
COTs. Uh, I can tell you, I, I can really find out why how he died and all that, but I ain't even got all the way deep into CEOTs. I'm gonna keep it real. So you don't think that had nothing to do with the Dolph shit? Uh, basically, the, basically they said CEOTs was riding with Govan. Yeah, this one of his young, this one of his young dudes. Yeah, that was Govan people. So it could have been, it could be a mess up, like, and, and he's and folks trying to clean a lot of stuff up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it could, it, it could have been because of because uh, of that dope energy too. Yeah. Stan, it do you feel be. like do you feel like your head is on a swivel out there in Memphis? My head is on a swivel everywhere, bro. I'm from the trap, so I'm used to my head being on a swivel. You know what I'm saying? I don't know nothing but that. Tell you the truth, sometimes when it when stuff going too right, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm more on point when stuff going wrong, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? And they just had it go, especially when you raise up from Memphis. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm more on point when I was beefing than when I wasn't beefing. You know what I'm saying? So you being from Memphis, let me ask you this question. Is there a beef between Trula Mafia and Double R? Trula Mafia and Double R. To be honest, uh, let, let's keep it real, bro. Trula Mafia is the, they younger than me. You know what I'm saying? They 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 they, they was the younger people. That's that's the what y'all know of. See thing about it, it, it was big, it was big groups before Trula Mafia and Double R that was that was running the city and really back running the city right now up to this point. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like they was the the young the young dudes in the game. You know what I'm talking about? They 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 learned from the OGs of the game. So like they can a lot of that a lot of they be can be ceased from the from the OGs. And you know, Gotti is one of the OGs, the people who got it and got into it with from back in the day, young mob, them, they the, they like the OGs and got young dudes under them, you know what I'm saying? So it's but it's deeper than just those two those two uh entities. To be honest. Are you are you trying to word your shit like really nice to Keep yourself out of shit. No, nah, I'm just keeping it real. I'm keeping it street at the same time. I don't. I ain't gonna put myself into the streets. I mean, until they, until they be in it by saying the wrong thing. I'm just keeping it real. But I'm just letting y'all know just the real. It's more than just those two entities that they really pulling strings on everything in the game. Okay, you so know Stan what I'm G, especially uh, for Memphis. What do you have to say to Memphis, Stan G? Man, I want everybody to, you know what I'm saying? It probably don't happen right now, but OG like me, I got to play my part and speak positive things in the universe, you know what I'm saying? And make things happen on a better scale because at the same time, we move this thing around in the right way. In this entertainment, we gonna, I'm pulling more money to the streets and to the, in, into the, in, into the rappers who really doing their thing out there. So I really want everybody to stand up. We didn't, we didn't lose two big heads from both sides can we make these two big heads like a learning lesson for the city and be like look we can we can go ahead and do something major and positive because Memphis got so much talent so much talent you know what I'm saying and all the people who I don't work with from Paper Ralph Filzer to Be Your Little Kenny to Juicy Fruit to all those people who really major in the, in the city man it's time to pull together and it's time to really work together. And, and if the people who they want to see see everybody crash out and fall because they didn't get to the top and they don't care about what's going on, man, look, these people like us still got love in the city who really want to see the push and keep on making things really happen on a bigger scale. And I got real big dogs pushing behind this brand. Understand, G, oh, man, I want everybody to really watch what I got going on. And let's push strong behind the city because it's going to take, it's going to take, it's going to take a lot of us, and it's going to take time, but at the same time, we can really make it happen. And that's what I'm pushing. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm pushing with my brain. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm doing a one-on-one -on -one with Stan G, like, with major artists all the way around the world, like, with even BWA Kane, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Fed Joe, everybody who didn't talk to me. Like, I got a light right now, and it's shining on me real tough. That's why I got to move like I'm moving. You know what I'm saying? But we finna take it to a whole nother level on a 
bigger scale. You know what I'm saying? Even with you, Red TV, I'm, I'm going to sit down and talk to you too, though. I'm trying to pull this whole brand and blog. And, and what we doing right now, we really leading the pack. We getting these folks the most promotion. Like the DJs ain't got it no more. Let's keep it all the way real. It's the people who blog and who putting this content out. You know what I'm talking about? And, and, and we, we're at the top of the food chain, what we doing. So we got to understand how what we saying and how we moving and what. And what we moving on, we got to clean it up. And we got to go ahead and get these millions. Because they finna spread these millions out to these bloggers, whether y'all know it or not. So let's go ahead and come together on a bigger scale. You know what I'm saying? The, we ain't we ain't we ain't on just beefing with the beefing it with blogging because they're the, the the really together we stand divided we fall. So we gotta we gotta think like that. And while we thinking like that, we gotta move like that. And that's just what's going on. Oh my! Stan G, I got one more question for you. Being from Memphis, just yes or no. Is the cookie shop connected to Dolph's death? Yes or no? Man, to be honest, if I tell you yes or no, I'd be lying because I wouldn't know. What, you know what, what, what is what I'm asking? What is Memphis saying? What Memphis saying? Some people believe they do, but some people don't believe it, and some people don't even be caring about it. You know what I'm saying? Because they ain't even they they ain't never went to that cookie shop a day in their life. Let me keep it real, but I never went to that cookie shop till Dolph died. I'm gonna keep it all the way real. So, um, I, we went deep into the cookie shop, but some of the names that you out and said, people know these folks really like that. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't hard to persuade a female. You know what I'm saying? It ain't hard to persuade a dude with money. You know what I'm saying? Everything look funny over there, but at the same time, can I put my finger on it and say they did it? I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? I'd be wrong to even try to do that. You know what I'm saying? Don't. Stand no G. one man have all that power. You nah. know, we fuck with you over here, Stan G. We want you to stay safe, man. So we ain't got no more questions for you. Or I don't. So I'm going to get to my show. I got some paperwork to drop. I do appreciate you for pulling up once again, Stan G. If you got something else to get off, go ahead and get it off before I get to this paperwork. You got something else? Yeah, 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 man. Oh, man. Y'all already know what's going on. Stan G, I'm putting strong in the game, man. You know what I'm talking about? If y'all need a one-on-one -on -one with Stan G, man, this is my interview. Uh, this is how I do my interview. One-on-one -on -one with Stan G, man. IG Stan G 1000. I drop all the latest stuff that go on in Memphis. I might don't drop everything how y'all want me to say it, but I'm telling y'all I'm dropping everything. And if you know how to read between the lines, y'all know exactly what's going on. We push it strong in the guy. Come through, you know what I'm talking about? Memphis Stan G on YouTube. Memphis Stan G. I'm talking about I got the club, my the hardest interviews, the realest people come through and mess with me. I don't mess with nothing but the biggest. If you ain't the biggest, you got to be the biggest in your section, your state. Wherever you at, you know what I'm talking about. Come and holler at me, man. Y'all already know what's going on. We putting strong. Oh, man. Understand. Oh, man. Salute oh, to you, man. bro. I Big appreciate love. you, Stan G. Once again, bro. You already know I fuck with you, bro. All right. Stay safe out there in Memphis, bro. I got you, my G. Salute. All right. Salute to Stan G, y'all. Now, Big Ratchet got something for y'all tonight. I told y'all, don't go nowhere. Because I got the streets of Memphis tied into me. Not only did he hit me up. I had a few other people from Memphis hit me up, and they was like, hey, Ratchet, bro, look, I'm telling you what, it, even that boy Barry hit me up. Y'all remember the boy Barry that got put in a wheelchair over the Mo3? I mean, excuse me. I keep saying Mo3. Over the Young Dolph case. Y'all remember Barry? Do y'all remember his name in the chat? Do y'all remember who I'm talking about? Because he hit me up. He also told me the same shit that everybody else in Memphis is telling me. Let's keep this shit a big buck, man. I got the information on Jook, man. Let's go. Linda Faye Mims appeals the district court's judgment sentencing her to imprisonment for 84 months after a jury found her guilty of conspiracy to possess cocaine with intent to distribute violation. Whoop, -de -whoop, -de whoop on appeal. Mims argues that uh, the district court erred in failing to require the United States filed a motion of departure in admitting into evidence her incriminating statement in admitting into evidence firearms exhibited and her denying her motion for judgment of acquittal with uh, we affirm Mims brother in law Eric Bovan was the apparent leader of a large cocaine distribution network that transported cocaine from Los Angeles to Memphis. 
after government officials leaned in, uh, excuse me, learned that MIMS on Monet Street in Memphis was being used in the cocaine network, they placed the house under video surveillance. The videotapes show co-conspirators Eric and Janet Bovan entering the MIMS house September 17, 1987. Earl Woods, a government informant, Woods testified that he accompanied Eric and Janet Bovan to MIMS house and that they carried a briefcase containing money. He said that MIMS gave a sack containing 25000 to 40000 to them, and they counted the uh, combined money, which totaled into 100000 to 170000 Woods also testified that on another occasion that he and another co-conspirator delivered a bag containing seven kilograms of cocaine to Janet Bovan that she told him she was taking the cocaine to MIMS house. Another co-conspirator, Anthony Bovan, testified that he met the other members of the conspiracy at Mims' house and that he picked out $75,000 to $100,000 at her house. Additional videotape evidence shows that several people left Mims' house with plastic bags containing white powdered substance. Uh, during a search of Mims' house, agents found a loaded 38 caliber revolver in the shoebox traced amounts of cocaine during the trial the district court um, admitted the revolver into evidence other uh, over the objection of mims counsel mims originally pled guilty to the conspiracy charge but the district court later allowed her withdraw uh, allowed her to withdraw her plea uh, the district court allowed the agent to testify at her trial after entering into plea agreement mims admitted that eric bovan had given her cocaine to sell. On appeal, Mims raises, uh, Mims raises four issues. First, she contends that the district court required the United States file a motion of departure pursuing we'll do, we'll do, we'll do, we'll sentencing guidelines according to we'll do, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do. I'm trying to, I'm not reading out them codes. The plea agreement in here contains the un unconditional uh, promise that the government to file a motion for a departure rather an agreement provides that the United States will file such a motion. Y'all see what I'm trying to tell y'all here. IG big dog poppy salute for that uh, 20 piece good show. OG ratchet salute, man. I appreciate you for coming back around. Salute big dog. I remember you dog. Salute to you. Salute, salute, salute. Second Mims argues that the district court entered admitting incriminating statements when she admitted that Eric Boban had given her cocaine to sell. She contends that the statement in the course of the plea discussions, therefore that argues the federal rule of the criminal procedure. Whoop de whoop de whoop. Uh, let's see. Mims gave her a uh, statement pursuant to the plea agreement after she had entered her well therefore at the time she had gave her incriminating statement to agents she was not engaging in plea discussions uh with the government as an alternative argument mims contends that she did not give her statement uh voluntarily because the government obtained her under pressure she trying to say she was pressured into saying this well it don't even matter but Basically, that same dude who ended up getting knocked off and they was at his funeral, they was already in paperwork with this dude for cocaine conspiracy. For cocaine conspiracy, legal appears of cocaine cons uh, conspiracy in the Linda Faye Mims. Linda Faye Mims is currently appealing the district court's decision that sentenced her to 84, min 84 months of imprisonment. After being found guilty of conspiracy to possess cocaine with the intent to distribute charges while filed, whoop -dee -whoop -dee -whoop. here's an overview of her case. Let's go here. Here's an overview of her case. The videotapes captured Eric and Janet Bovan identified as co-conspirators entering Mims' house on September 17, 1987, accompanied by Earl Woods, a government informant. Woods testified uh this visit the bovans carried a briefcase containing money mims allegedly handed them a sack containing 25 to 40 thousand i told y'all that already whoop -dee, whoop -dee, whoop. And here's the appeal whoop -dee, whoop -dee, whoop. Whoop -dee, whoop -dee, whoop. so they, they tried to appeal the damn case and it didn't work because they already got caught up they're snitches 
All these people are snitches, allegedly. I mean, it's not allegedly, it's in paperwork. But I'm trying to tell y'all, these people are some fucking rats, allegedly. But it's not alleged, because I just showed y'all the paperwork containing all the evidence surrounding these damn people. Now, we not done. I'm not done over here. We finna continue with this shit for tonight. Now, let me open up my videos. Now, let's show y'all some shit. Let me show y'all some shit. Because here your boy is right here. Here your boy is. Let me turn this volume on because it's playing some music in the background. So let me show y'all this real quick. You know what I'm talking about. So they say Yo Gotti wasn't there. Here your boy Yo Gotti and your boy Jook. They right there at the funeral. Everybody knows they was at the damn funeral. Yo Gotti ends up leaving the funeral, allegedly, because they saying the weather was bad. The weather was bad. Memphis was going to get snowed in for the next two days. So Yo Gotti said, you know what? I'm going to dip out today and, hey, you kick it till whenever, but I got to go. And in the midst of him leaving immediately, his brother gets knocked off. Allegedly allegedly but it's not alleged because it really happened i ain't making this shit up let's continue yeah, that's y'all see him over the land i can't lay it down over there big day. huh big juke day. Day. day hey for real hey, big juke hey. whoa the other nigga there about to die right now. I just yeah i see him over there it's a re what is a birthday what well, are the repairs or a birthday party? Oh, you both ain't repaid. Hey, hey, hey. That's what they said. Hell no. Yeah, it's been clear the lot now. All right, bro. If you do not disperse, you may be arrested. It's gonna get ugly, y'all. They killed God, the brother. Yeah, they killed Juke. Mine. Did Winchester? What did Winchester? What? Winchester. Man, 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 man. What do y'all think about that shit? What do y'all think about that shit, man? We not done. <clears throat> we are not done by a long shot. We got more to cover tonight, man. We got more to cover. We trying to we trying to cover this Memphis shit, man. We trying to cover this Memphis shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not done. I'm not done. We got more. It says footage of Yo Gotti and his brother Big Jook hours before he was taken out. Allegedly. Wow, we got footage of Yo Gotti and his brother Big Jook hours before he was shot and killed in Memphis. This is sad. Before he was shot and killed. Big Jook hours before Yo Gotti and his brother Big Jook hours before he was shot and killed in Memphis. This is sad. Yo got and his brother Big Jook hours before he was shot and killed in Memphis. This is sad. And as you see, both of them are right there. Yo got both of them are right here. His brother Big Jook and you can see them both right here, right before they gave the drug. Everybody was filming them. Everybody knew what he was in. They was all setting him up. He didn't know he was getting lined up. He had no idea they was lining his ass up. But his goofy ass got lined up. They got mad at me yesterday for covering this shit. Man, you know I don't give a 
damn. You you know Big Ratchet. Don't give a damn. Y'all should know by now. I don't give a fuck. This dude got caught lacking big time out there in Memphis, and his brother set him up. Look, his brother just showing him, and he dipped out instantly. As soon as this shit happened, he dipped. As soon as that shit happened, Yo Gotti got the fuck out of Memphis. He gave the drop on his brother and got the fuck out of Memphis and didn't look back. He knew his brother was getting knocked off. You think Yo Gotti didn't know his brother was going to get knocked off? You sadly fucking mistaken. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Let's let's get back to this. We're not done. We're not done. Let me get back to this. We are not done by a long shot. Hold on. We're not done, gang. Watch hey, the end. I'm finna start a GoFundMe, man, because I know a lot of you rap niggas fucked up out here, man. Can't do no shows. Ain't saved no money. So guess what? I'm going to come say today. I'm going to come pay you niggas rent if y'all got some. Y'all got somewhere to stay. I'll pay your car note. I'll pay your jury note so you won't get repo. You feel me? Whatever else you rent or leasing, I'm going to pay that shit. But when this shit break back over, I want 10% of what you make, nigga. I'm, I'm, I'm saving you in the, in the, in the, you know. In a crucial time, so don't think I'm trying to get over on you. Need to shoot some videos while the label budgets is cut off. Labels, labels, they cut off right now. No budgets, no money. We still open. CMG still open. Budgets never closed. You feel me? But uh, oh, I'll take y'all can pawn some of that jewelry if it's real. Y'all can. Come and pawn it. You ain't gotta go to the pawn shop. Come to me. Hey, this real shit. Don't go to Cash Advance. Come to CMG Advance. We got, we got some money for you niggas, man. Right now. You feel me? We got money. Right now, man. Pull up. Don't make this shit happen. Damn. Man, 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 man. Come to CMG Advance, huh? Come to CMG Advance, huh, Big Jook? He's talking a lot of tough guy shit right before you got knocked off, man. They was mad at me last night. Oh, they can be pissed off at me tonight. We not done by a long shot. Let's continue this shit game. I'm not done. Let's go. You say he was trying to put a whole fifth in Jook. Hmm. All right. Gotta have forgot it. Man. You know, first of all, we have to be careful what we put on records because they've been putting people away for what you put on records for years. So I don't want to hear that I'm talking about it. I'm pretty sure everybody in the heard it. You know what I'm saying? And the thing about it, Juke got shot 39 times. And they say that it had a switch on it. And then Jay Fizzle's song, you know, he dropping. He talking about switches. He talking about uh, he gonna put a whole fifth around the joke. All they doing is hiding from me. All I'm gonna say is say this right here, man. I understand a lot of y'all young Dolph fans, which I am too. I fuck with Dolph, man. You know what I'm saying? Like Dolph, that was my guy. You know what I'm saying? As far as music, but I'm not beefing. I'm not on the front line with Dolph. I'm not on the front line with Gotti. You know what I'm saying? We have to learn. You know, we can like people music and feel where they coming from, but you can't put yourself on the front line. I seen a lot of y'all come in on my last video and uh, y'all was, you know, very disrespectful to the man. Hey, I don't hate now one of them guys because I wasn't in the streets with them. So I can't do that. Every time you kill somebody, the family hurts though. So when I said rest in peace, it's because I know what that man mama feeling. Just like I knew with Dolph family or whatever we're feeling, man. So y'all have to, you know, y'all have to chill out. A lot of y'all not gangsters in the street, so y'all don't feel it. Y'all just living it through these rap music and all that. But it's real out here. And I've been out here enough and it did enough. I know it's real. You know what I'm saying? But, man, Gotti was at the funeral also. But Gotti got on down. The same thing Juke should have did. You, I, I want to say this right here. Paper route going hard. <laughs> they still riding for dog. They still sliding years later, man. You know, over a little later. They still sliding. But 
I want to say this right here. When y'all take out a major in the city of Memphis, or in the city, it ain't got to be city of Memphis, in the city, y'all take out a major person, man. Don't come back walking around the city and moving through the city like you can move, like you ain't did nothing. Because it don't matter if it's a year or two. Tupac said it. <laughs> he was always real. Rat, tat, 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 tat. Mother came back after all these years. It, it don't matter. Ain't no time limit on it, man. Ain't no time limit on it, man. So, like, y'all start coming through there like y'all the godfather. Because now, guess what? Who the target now? Key Glock. Key Glock was next in line on the dogs. So now it's been going back and forward. Black youngster brother got took out. It was from paper. <coughs> whatever. You know, with the beef or whatever. Then you turn around, got uh uh Dolph took out. Then then that big juke, your brother uh your got it brother took out. They really won't got it, but it's gonna be hard to get him. They really won't, but it's gonna be hard to get him. But now they done hurt got it. They didn't get Gotti, but they heard him. They took that money and brother. So Gotti might not move. I know a lot of people saying, oh, it's about to be hot in the city. Probably so, on some street, low value shit. But God ain't finna call no shots just yet because he know he, they watching him. But when he do, drop that money in the streets. Key Glock, be safe. You gotta watch yourself. You the target, man. They gotta, it, it, it's a stepping stone, man. This ain't checkers. It's just, man. Let's go. So do y'all feel like Key Glock is the next to go? Because Joe Gotti is going to put some money up at some point. You got you to gotta think about it. But I don't feel like Pre is behind this hit. I'm going to be real with y'all. I don't see Pre being behind this hit. Not me. I don't see it. I see Yo Gotti running for his life right now. I do know that Pre is on y'all ass and they're not going to stop till all of y'all are gone. But I don't believe Pre is behind this hit. How is Angela going to get out of this safely? Who? Angela oh, you're talking about Angela Simmons. Okay, okay. Is body for body Dolph is too big? Ooh, I think somebody will get Gotti in another state. Paper route not behind. No, paper route. I'm telling y'all. Paper route not behind this. Paper Route is not behind this hit. Whether y'all want to believe it or not, Paper Route had nothing to do with this hit. This was an inside job to keep Gotti out of jail. That's all it was. They trying to keep Gotti safe right now. Now it's going to go back and they're, you're going to see that your boy is the fall guy for Dolph. Your boy is the fall guy for Dolph. Juke is going to be the fall guy in a, in a in an upcoming case. That's the only thing that's going to keep Gotti safe is sacrificing his brother. What's up, family? Welcome back to the channel. And listen, man, we're not even going to do too much of an introduction. We're going to get right to the numbers because I see y'all falling for it again. And this was nothing more than a stage sacrifice, man. You feel what I'm saying? And as y'all can see, by the numbers, we're going to break it down because January 13th, 2024, today... Is the day Big Juke died, right? And it equals 120 in reverse. And Big Juke equals 120 in reverse as well. Pay attention. And just like they say, um, he died at a repass. As you can see, um, repass equals 25 in reduction. Anthony Mims, which is Big Juke's first name, equals 52 in reduction, just mirroring that 25. And if you remember, Mims is the name that came up as the informant in that case that I showed y'all. Can y'all go back and think about what the fuck I'm trying to tell y'all? The name Mims came up as an informant in Memphis, Tennessee, in the case I just showed y'all. Man, 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 man. Ratchet TV has done it again. This dude is a fucking rat. They took him out because he's a snitch. He was finna tell on everybody. He had to go. This had nothing to do with, with Dolph. I mean, it did, but it didn't. He's a loose end. They had to tie. Sorry, not sorry. You gotta go. You a loose end, bro. 
Also, Anthony, his first name equals 97, mirroring that 79 in the order on repass. So pay attention to the numbers, man. He was meant to be took out today. He was meant to be took out where he was taken out at. You get what I'm saying? This was all done by the numbers, man. Yo, Gotti owed up. It was his time, man. From the date, from the location, from the state, you feel what I'm Someone says, you don't know because you're not in Memphis. Well, you don't know shit. Get the fuck off my channel. Sapphire, get him out of here. You don't know what the fuck you talking about. Get the fuck off my channel, Goofy. Get your goofy ass off my channel. Goodbye. Have a good night. We going to continue over here. We got 4,000 people in the building. Y'all bitch ass niggas thought y'all was safe because I was at the Mavericks game last night. No, no, no. The king is back. The king is back. Tell them fuck niggas the king is back. I'm saying Anthony equals 34 in reduction, just like Tennessee, where he died at, equals 34 in reduction as well. This number magic. This was not no gang war. This is what they're going to want you to believe. This was just some type of beef in the streets. That's what they love to throw this off on to keep us distracted. This was a blood sacrifice. Anthony Jook Mims equals 67 in reduction. Blood sacrifice equals 67 in reduction as well. Pay attention, man. It's all, it's all in the numbers. Because like I said, Yo Gotti not only had an emotional connection to Big Juke because that was, that was his brother, he had a numeric connection to Big Juke as well. As you can see, Yo Gotti equals 33 in reverse reduction, just like Big Juke equals 33 in the reduction cipher. Pay attention. Not only were they bound by blood, they were bound by a, an emotional connection and a numeric connection. This is, pay attention, man. It's all in the numbers. This was no more than an Illuminati sacrifice. They sat down, they did the numbers, and he was the one that had to go. You feel what I'm saying? It probably didn't sync up to nobody else in Yo Gotti's camp. It might have just been him. It might have had to be him this time. You feel what I'm saying? It's all about the numbers. This shit is like death lottery or something. You feel me? If y'all do the research on this shit, this shit is like death lottery these people be playing. You feel me? As you can see, Big Juke equals 120. Illuminati equals 120 as well. Like, pay attention to these numbers every time. If it don't sync up, it don't add up. Because it has to add up numerically. It has to sync up for the curses, for the hex to even go through. You feel me? As you can see, Anthony equals 92 in reverse. Cursed equals 92 in reverse as well. He was cursed. It was a hex. You feel what I'm saying? Voodoo curse. It got him while I flew the Turks. You feel me? What Drake tell him? Like, this shit be real, man. Don't fall for the distraction. This was nothing more than a sacrifice, bro. Facts. I'm out. Straight sacrifice, man. Like, think about it. Look at the numbers, man. He died today, January 13, 2024. It equals 120 in reverse. Big Juke equals 120 in reverse as well. Like, is you serious? Y'all can't see this? Not to mention, they say he died at a repass and he sinks up there as well with the 97, 79, the 52, the 25. It all sinks up numerically, man. For y'all to say, oh, you might not have spelled repass right. It's with two S's. Well, I spelled the one with the two S's as well, and he sink up with that one as well. Because they are interchangeable. You can spell them either way. He syncs up with both. Like, what's the excuse, man? Y'all see this shit? I be fooled by the distractions, man. They just found tunnels under a fucking synagogue. Uh, Biden just sent a billion dollars to Ukraine in weapons. And they just came up missing. We are entering a pole shift around the 15th, 17th of this month. So they will be doing and using any type of distraction that they can to keep you away from self, to keep you from paying attention to what's going on, man. Stay focused, stay aware, man. Stay in tune. I'm man, man, man. This shit is not... You can't make this shit up, man. You cannot make this shit up. You, you can't. And I'm trying to tell y'all the numbers align to a sacrifice. This ain't a this ain't a, a paper route here. I know y'all want to say Dolph got that get back. Whoop -de -whoop. It, it ain't that. No, 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 no. Yo, Gotti tied up some loose ends. 
That's all Yo Gotti is doing is tying up loose ends at this point. Yo Gotti sacrificed his brother, bro, allegedly. 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 Let's continue. Like, uh, we're very preliminary in this investigation right now. Uh, there's a lot of things that we don't have answers to. But what I can share with you was at 16, 15 hours, uh, we had officers in the area of 6385 Winchester, which is the uh, Paramount Event Center. Uh, he was flagged down uh, of a shooting of a male victim who was inside of his vehicle. Uh, officers uh, pulled over to the scene. Uh, the victim was transported to the hospital, St. Francis Hospital, where he was pronounced deceased. Uh, there was a second victim who also was transported to the hospital. Uh, he was subsequently airlifted to Regional 1, where he's in critical condition at this time. Uh, my condolences go out to the families on, these, on this incident. Uh, but we don't have, right now, we do have video that we're analyzing. But we don't have a clear suspect identified at this time. But we know that a, a weapon was used, a, a firearm was used in this incident. Does that video show anything as far as the car vehicle that was in the We're still analyzing our video, uh, but we don't have a clear suspect identified. Will you be releasing videos to the public? We're working on trying to develop uh, suspect information. And as we get information, we will release what we have uh, as it comes forward. Can you tell us whether this is relative to um, Yom Dov, Big Juk, Yo, um, Yo Gotti? There's no, there's no, uh, uh, this is preliminary. So we hadn't developed a connection to that at this time. Um, it, we do feel like the individual that was uh, shot was possibly targeted by the suspect. We were hearing there was a recap or some sort of funeral procession going on over here at the time. Yes, these individuals, the two individuals that were shot, were attending a repast uh, uh, at this location. Last question. How many uh, suspects did you say that there were? I never said how many, but we know at least one shooter uh, that we believe at this time that there may be more involved in this. And has his family been notified? Uh, we're in the process of notifying family and getting a clear identification on the uh, uh, victims at this point. All right. Who are the one of the victims of Yogati's brother? I can't confirm anything yet. All right, thanks everybody. Can you um, just say and spell your name one more time? Our mic wasn't on at the time. I'm sorry, Paul Wright. P A U L W R I G H T. All right. We'll provide uh, additional updates as they come. Um, look to Twitter. Any other questions, you can send us an email at PIO at MemphisTN.gov. Thanks. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that was once again memphis with the play if you're joining us online right now this is an incident that happened off of winchester road here at the perion event center just behind me a few hours ago witnesses said that they heard a gunshot ring out we do now know that at least one of those gunshot victims is dead. Another one was airlifted to Regional 1 where he is being treated right now. Family is in the process of being informed about the incident, but as we just heard from MPD, they are not 100% sure on an identity of either of the victims at this time. As we know more, we'll give you more live on Winchester. I'm sorry, Oates. Man, man, man. Memphis, Tennessee, y'all. Welcome to Memphis. Man, man, man. So as you see out there in Memphis, they running more plays. More plays are being ran out there in Memphis, y'all. Yeah, we're not done. Hold on, we're not done with this shit, y'all. Hold on. Give me a second. Okay, that was that... Let's get to this, huh? Now, do y'all remember this? Let's get to this. Hold on, hold on. Let's get to this part. Let's get to this. I know y'all remember this. That it's time, Yo got his brother making fun of Young Yo. Put it in the middle, man. Y'all don't do that, man. Don't fuck up our legacy. So pussy right here, y'all. Two guys. I thought I heard a fat, broke ass nigga, man. That I used to feed this goddamn kid say something. <laughs> Puss ass boy. Man, man, man. 
time you find Yo Goddess niggas. brother making fun of young Yo and he responds. in the middle, man. Y'all don't do that, man. Don't fuck with that legacy. So pussy right here, y'all. Two guys. I thought I heard a fat, broke ass nigga, man, that I used to feed his goddamn kids say something. <laughs> Puss ass boy. Long live Flipper, y'all. Long live Flipper, y'all. Throw them dolphins up in the chat, man. I better see them likes go the fuck up in this chat, man. I better see them likes go the fuck up in this chat, y'all. We not done. We not done. Let's go. Hold on, gang. Let's get to this. We not done. Now, shout out to XXL Magazine because they have actual footage of the funeral service where Juke and uh, Yogati had attended. And I believe you can see Angela Simmons in there, too. Now, in the footage scene playing here, you can see his brother, uh, Anthony Mims. And then here, right here, is Yogati. And then I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe uh, Angela Simmons is somewhere here or there. Um, and they're all leaving after viewing the body. Now, TMZ reported yesterday that Yogati's brother, Big Juke, was shot and killed after a funeral service. So we have to get into details of this story. Now, his brother, who goes by the name of Anthony Mims, was shot and killed yesterday. And this is according to TMZ. Sources with direct knowledge tells us that the rapper's older sibling was gunned down Saturday in Memphis on near Winchester Road. I believe that's the area. Per the reports, this murder took place after he attended a funeral service in the area. Now, TMZ is unclear if Yogati himself was anywhere near his brother at the time of his slaying. Um, so he has not addressed it, Yogati himself personally, on social media. And they stated that another element to this is the possibility that this might be related to the murder of young Dolph in 2021. At least that's the speculation being said online. TMZ also reports that the cops rushed to Yogati's Memphis restaurant shortly after a young, the young rapper was shot down himself outside of the cookie store. And this is out of the fear of possible retaliation. Uh, you guys already know that young Dolph and Gotti had beef together. So that's why the police are investigating whether this was retaliatory. Now, what's also interesting in the case is this is where young Dolph was slain. And then this is where um, Yo, Yo Gotti's brother was slain, not too far apart and relatively in the same general area. So it is quite possible that it might have been retaliatory. So do y'all feel like this was a direct connection or do y'all feel like this was straight up Yo Gotti? Was this Yo Gotti or was this Dolph? I want to know in the chat, what do y'all feel like, man? Was this a Yo Gotti hit or was this a hit that came from the pre-camp? Let me know in the chat. Hold on, hold on. We're not done. We're not done. Let's go. Hold on, hold on, thugs. Hold on, small thugs. Let's get to this. Without making money, man. They don't stack it, man. They put it, they waste it all on the drip. See all that drip? I ain't bad. See that? Man, you worry. We not worry. You feel me? All that shit y'all used to. You feel me? Oh, all that shit how y'all used to fuck the money up. You feel me? <laughs> Remember when y'all used to fuck the money up? You, feel, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, this is the time. I didn't fuck it up. What y'all want to do, man? I going to say, because he could be in the hospital right now so i'm not saying he's dead but allegedly it's too many people saying it was big juke that got shot i'm not saying he died or nothing right now i know man it's too many people saying it was him only on black with news we out here it's savage saturday come on man y'all know what today is hey i shall see him on the land cat laying down over there huh big juke dead Hey, for real? Big Juke. Whoa. The other nigga over there about to die right now. Yeah, I see him over there. It's a re what is it, a birthday? What is it, a repass or a birthday party? Oh, it yeah, both ain't repaid. Man, man, man. Memphis, Tennessee is hot right now, y'all. Y'all know Big Ratchet got all that Memphis shit. Y'all know I be I be so tapped in with Memphis. It's crazy, man. Y'all y'all know, man. I, I just I just be oh, let's get to this. Hold on, hold on. I want to get to this one. This is what I really want to get into right here. This is the one. Let's get to this. Let's get to this. And then my highlights, I say pay attention to the number 33. So that's just a little set. And then but I also want to speak on that too. The CEO Teasy, man. Come on, bro. Like, 
that is that's crazy that they got that get back with him during this because I, I know for a fact they ain't even want that want that body for real. That body was like that was like a low low league body for real. We you know that was a body that see people was thinking PRE they were soft because they really just be focused on the money and getting some money for real. But now all that get back coming, we really didn't even want COTs. We really trying to hit people it's you see it's different it hit a little different when you think when we travel nine hours to get govon hernandez daughter who from orange mouth we travel nine hours to not call off in houston you see what i'm saying and you think we're not gonna travel for 45 minutes to knock you off you just hanging out hanging around in orange mouth he was the one with the pre chain doing all that just all that stuff too right holding the pr i think you had the pre chain on ig live or something exactly like you you see you wasn't even a body that people really wanted like that we really we really trying to we really want like a little migo you know what i'm saying we really want like a black youngster uh uh a govon hernandez uh a big juke you know what i'm saying uh-huh. Big Juke, see, we trying to make Yo Gotti turn his comments off. We, cause we trying to, as soon as we catch Big Juke, we trying to get Yo Gotti to turn his comments off. You see what I'm saying? Cause we gonna flood his comments with the young doll. You see, that's how we gonna do that. So we gotta make Yo Gotti call. We gotta send him the, send him the, uh, spam them doffs in them comments. Yeah, spam the doff. We gotta send, send, we gotta make Yo Gotti cry with the, with the, with the ribbon on the casket, not the ribbon on the Tesla. You see, mm-hmm. that's how that gotta go right there. So, Everybody, big juke, be careful, bro, because folks looking for you. Y'all see what's going on. You know your brother black youngster out here dropping bags on people's head. Y'all know Lil Migo out here dropping bags on people's head. Lil Migo, you need to go talk to black youngster right now. You need to go. Don't no no more hit records. You need to go put in on another pack. You know what I'm saying? You need to go put in on another hit. You know what I'm saying? And, and up the score for sure. You need to go put in on the so y'all need to get some get back ASAP because y'all folks dying because they not gonna stop till they get y'all man they not gonna stop till they get black youngster big jug Govan Hernandez look man 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 and that's facts they they not gonna stop this is not gonna end until everybody drops and this don't have nothing to do with Dolph per se but it has everything to do with Dolph per se it is indirectly or directly connected to the Dolph case big juke was a liability that just had to get the fuck out the way ceo tz was a liability that just had to get the fuck out the way straight drop was a liability that had to get the fuck out the way cornelius was a liability that just had to get the fuck out of the way. All of these people are just liabilities. While the main beneficiary is Yo Gotti and Black Youngster. Because they are the ones who knowingly know about this hit and know everybody connected into this situation. Yo Gotti never put a stop to this hit. Yo Gotti was knowingly, well knowingly, he he knew damn well this hit was going to take place. Now, I can't confirm or deny if Yo Gotti was in on it. I don't know. I wasn't there. All I can say is Yo Gotti was well aware that this was going to take place. Well aware. This ain't a secret. Big Juke knew this was going to take place because Big Juke planned the whole thing with Hernandez, Govan, and Yo Gotti. To my knowledge. I'm just going off what I've been told in Memphis. Memphis is telling me Big Juke put this whole play together with Hernandez, Govan, which was the mastermind. And Yo Gotti was well aware that this was going to take place. He knew it was going down. Yo Gotti knew when it was going to go down. Yo, Yo Gotti knew the time, the place. Yo Gotti was well aware that this was going to happen. And I got people mad at me in this comment section. I got people real mad at me in this comment section. And I can't do nothing about y'all being mad at me. Because all I'm up here doing is giving y'all facts. I said, man, shut up. It was pretty. Dude, you sound stupid. Who was Juke? 
for some mob sh type people want him. I don't even know what the fuck that means. Correct your grammar and then get back to me. But Big Juke, big ass was laying on the concrete for a reason. His big fat ass was laying on that concrete for a reason. So you want to sit here and troll and talk shit. Let's get to the facts. Why was his big ass laying on the concrete? Let's talk about it. We don't we don't gotta we don't gotta speculate. He was dissing young Dolph. And he had ties to the young Dolph situation. And his brother had ties to the young Dolph situation. And the record label had ties to the young Dolph situation. So if Big Jook gets arrested for the murder of young Dolph. The whole CMG goes down because Black Youngster was aware. Yo Gotti was aware. They got proof of all this shit. But somebody has to go. There has to be some. A body has to drop on y'all side. It has to be. It, it can't. CEO TZ was just a liability. CEO TZ wasn't, wasn't nothing. Now, CEO TZ name came up in this shit. But CEO TZ, he, he wasn't he wasn't a factor. This was the big dogs. The big dogs had to go. Everybody knew the big dogs had to go in this shit. It had to be Black Youngster, Yo Gotti, or Big Juke. Those were the three. There, I don't give a damn what nobody is talking about on no platform whatsoever. If you're not talking about Yo Gotti, Black Youngster, and Big Juke, there is no bigger name in the Young Dolph case. <clears throat> People getting timed out and blocked left and right. It says, stop dying and get back to your life. Get my book. Now, no one's going to get your book. Get your goofy ass on. Nobody's getting your book, bro. Fuck your book. Fuck that book. That nigga Gotti doing 100 push-ups. Gotti is ducking 100 shots right now. F them ratchet. You reap what you sow. I don't give a damn about that. COTZ got picked up about it too. COTZ died because he had something to do with the young dog case. Big Juke died. It, even if it was directly or indirectly, it doesn't matter. They all died because of the Young Dolph case. All of these people. They all are gone because of Young Dolph. Let's just call it what it is. It says, so who's next? Raven. Raven's next. Raven is going to be one of the people that's going to drop in 2024. Raven is next. So if you don't want to believe that, I don't give a damn. Her, one of, her or somebody in her family getting knocked off. Somebody got to go in that situation. Say you goofy. Well, like, shut the f up, dude. You're not in Memphis. We know what the f going on. You know what? I don't give a fuck who is in Memphis and who's not in Memphis. I don't give a damn. I don't got to be in Memphis to know what the fuck I'm talking about. I ain't got to be nowhere near Memphis. I ain't got to step foot in Memphis a day in my life to know what the hell I'm talking about. I know exactly what I'm talking about. How is it that a Dallas nigga got all the information about this shit and y'all don't? Y'all don't know what the hell's going on. Hit the link. Get your goofy ass up here and hit the link. I'm, I get sick of every time I start exposing stuff in a different state, they want to be, oh, you're not from here. I know more than your mama know. How about that? I know more than your mama. What you going to do, bitch? Shut up. Shut the fuck up and listen to what I'm, I'm, shut the fuck up when I'm talking. How about that? Shut the fuck up when I'm talking to you, bitch, nigga. <sighs> You goofy ass dudes piss me off, man. I said they ain't hitting that fucking link. No, nah, they won't hit that link. They know better. They ain't gonna get up here and say a damn word to me. You gonna talk all that shit you gonna talk in that chat. You ain't gonna say a damn word to me. I don't give a damn what state you from, what city you from. Y'all ain't gonna get on this motherfucker and say nothing to me. Not big dog ratchet. Not big, not big ratchet. I'm the one y'all got fucked up. It says hit that link. Most people in Memphis believes the cookie folks had something to do with it. Pound cake, side limp. Fuck pound cake, big 400 pound ass. That big bitch is 400 pounds of fun. I said, bitch, ninja, backpack. Yeah, Raven was scared. I don't give a damn about Raven, big ass. Look, Raven's, she's out of here. She's a dead woman walking. Raven is a dead woman walking. No one cares about Raven. Ra Memphis is on Raven top. They just been waiting for the right opportunity. But that dude she's lined up with is she's funding her own funeral by paying him any money. Any money she hands that man, she's funding her own funeral because that man don't give a damn. I still got recordings of that same man panel she sits on talking shit about her telling me he didn't give a fuck about her this was a money grab for him when i was out there in south carolina 
I still got the footage. All you got to do is say I'm lying. All you got to do is say, Ratchet, you're a liar, and I'll expose it. If anybody ever calls me a liar, I expose them. That fuck nigga is scared to fight me. Because that bitch ass nigga tried to set me up, and I knew about it. And when I figured out that fuck nigga tried to set me up, I've been on his top. I've been trying to link with that nigga behind the scenes. That nigga's pussy. That dude don't want no fucking trouble. He's a civilian out here in the drug game. Go figure, right? He's a civilian in the drug game. I've been exposed to that fuck nigga. That dude don't want to put up no money to get on the, get in the ring with Big Ratchet, but you've been talking all that shit all this time about Big Ratchet. I be everywhere you want to be. I'm who you want to be. Don't forget that shit. I created that fuck nigga. Let's not, let's not forget that shit. Let's not let's talk about it, Memphis. Let's really talk about it. I created that fuck nigga. And I'll end that fuck nigga. Fuck are we talking about, Memphis? The fuck are we talking about? And that dude's dad is Maurice. Let's talk about this shit. Pound Cake's brother. It's our big brother. Let's talk about this shit. Long lost father is Maurice. Hmm. Tell the tell the world how Maurice fucked your mom. Let's tell the world that shit. Let's start there. Let's tell the world how Maurice smashed your mama. Mm. Let's tell the world how not only did Maurice smash your mama, he also left her for the Underground Railroad bitch he's with today. <laughs> Dolph ordered two lemon cookies and two strawberry cookies. He got with that Underground Railroad bitch. <laughs> i show you how, how valuable your mom pussy was. <laughs> Fuck, nigga. <laughs> yeah, tell him I said it. Yeah, what, what are you going to do? That shows you how valuable your mom pussy was. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Chill, brother. I don't got to chill. Fuck you. Put him in timeout. Don't tell me to chill. Don't tell me to chill. I don't, I, don't, I don't chill. There ain't no such thing as chill when it comes to Big Ratchet. Learn who the fuck you talking to. So Alexa, play 100 shots. Yeah, play 100 shots by Young Dolph. Because we, we ain't ducking no, no smoke over here. I never heard Ratchet Cap ever. Y'all ain't never caught me in a lie. All you got to do is say Ratchet is a liar and I expose you. Every time a motherfucker has got up here and said, now nah, Ratchet be lying, bro. That dude is nothing but a... I expose they bitch ass. So let me say this again. Raven, the same motherfucker panel you sit on, I got a, I got video footage of me on the phone with this motherfucker and him telling me how you are a money play for him. You stupid bitch. Like, I got the fucking... I don't even got to expose it because I don't care what happens to you. I really... To be honest, I could give a fuck less. Let it happen. I, I'm going I'm to have something to report on. I can't wait for it to happen, to be honest. I'm going to have a week's worth of content. So let him set you up. I don't give a shit. It is what it is at this point. You shouldn't have did what you did to Dolph. I don't care. Throw them dolphins up in the chat. I don't care what happens to you. So me exposing the shit, dude, calling me, really, to be honest, I don't have a win in this shit. The only win I get is when it ends for you. That's the only win I get in this. I don't, I don't have a horse in this race. The only horse I got is justice. So when it happens to you, I'm going to report on it for the next week. I don't care when it happens. I'm going to be happy and I'm going to clap about it. If I sound like a dick, so be it. I don't care. When it happens, I'm going to clap and laugh and say I told y'all so. I can't wait for it to happen, to be honest. I'm going to be real with you. I can't wait for it to happen. I'm going to throw a fucking party. Me and Sapphire are going to be right here partying like a motherfucker when it happens. And I'm going to be like, I told y'all motherfuckers. I told y'all goofy asses. This shit was going to happen. Her, her big ass is gone. It is what it is. <laughs> I ain't got no horse in this race, though, man. Only justice. The lie detector says that you are the father. I don't know who the father is of nothing, but it ain't me or it ain't got nothing to do with Raven. <laughs> man, 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 man. So look. And that fuck nigga won't fight me. Gave the bitch ass nigga two and a half months to set up a fucking venue, unblock me, and let's set the fucking fight up so we can do this shit in front of everybody. I'm going to beat your ass for Dolph and Mo3. But you don't want to do it. So now the fight costs double. I told y'all it was 15. Now it's 30 bands. I ain't fucking playing with these people. It's 30 bands to fight me. 
I didn't went over a hundred k. My YouTube plaque is on the way. I, I don't got nothing else to say. I didn't told y'all what the fuck this was. I didn't expose everybody in every case. The numbers don't lie. The gematria doesn't lie. All these people are aligned. All these people are combined. And I about time I seen another damn super chat. Where am I at on super chats? Because I've been gone for a couple nights and I come back to fifty four dollars. I need a 50 piece. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. This is bullshit. I come back to a 54 piece after being off for a couple nights, and we just did 25,000 views on this video. Man, y'all better throw me up a 50 piece. But Pre don't even have a female artist. Pre is done. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Pre is out of there. Said they spinning for Dolph. Jamaica, come on, bro. Pack them up. Get them out of here. Let's get Richard out of here. This person on the screen, Richard Williams, out of here. Goodbye, Richard. Have a good night, sir. The women lie, women lie. Yeah, the numbers don't lie. How are you going to talk shit about the gematria? I just showed you everything li lined up in the gematria. How are you going to talk shit when I just showed you the numbers don't lie in this shit, bro? Ain't no numbers lying in this. I don't give a damn what y'all talking about. Get your goofy ass off my channel. Said Philippa said, no, nah, we ain't. No, nah, we ain't finished. There we go, Crystal. So I was wondering where somebody was at. I appreciate you. See, I, I I was like, man, I don't know what the fuck is going on tonight. I ain't got no damn bread on the screen. Salute says, you see how big Ratchet comes. So subscribe and hit the notification. Oh, salute to Crystal Cove for that honey bun. Honey bun. Won't you do some for me? I appreciate you, Crystal. See, I couldn't feel comfortable getting off if I didn't get over $100 tonight. I've been gone a couple nights. To be real, shit, I deserve $200. You know what I'm saying? We at a 154 now. I ain't mad at that, Crystal. Thank you so much, Crystal. I appreciate you, but we should be above that because I've been off for a couple nights, so I don't even know what the fuck it is. I've been gone for two nights. I'm back now, y'all. Ratchet TV is one of the realest on YouTube. He does his due diligence, and he has been 100% every story. Y'all need to stop the slander. Haters, ratchet, keep it great work. Bro. Hey, I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? See, it's glad, I'm glad somebody appreciates me. I'm glad somebody appreciates me. Salute, Ty. I appreciate you. You know what I'm talking about? I put y'all on Jay Fizzle, seeing where and with who that person said. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, to be honest with you. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So these CMG fans and their feelings, man, fuck these CMG fans. Let, let them be in their feelings. What they going to do? Who they, who they stepping on? Nothing. So Richard been talking hella shit. Well, Richard is out of here. We ain't worried about Richard no more. Richard is a, is a pack now. Richard is, can join Big Juke. How about that? Richard, you can join Big Juke and become the, the next pack. How about that? Oh, Richard, you disrespect. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Long live, dog. Ratchet can take a PTO day because... He has real mods working behind the scenes. It's a team. Yeah, I ain't got to even, to be real, I don't got to lift my fingers too, too much these days, man. I got a whole team behind me, and we all about justice, and we all about getting these facts out. So whether y'all like it or love it, Ratchet Gang ain't stopping, man. We the hottest thing. Just because I take a couple nights off, y'all think shit be sweet, and y'all think people take, ain't nobody running shit with these narratives. That fuck nigga that's running the narrative in the Dolph case is a bitch. Tell him I said it. Salute, guys, son, on that 20 piece, the hottest channel on YouTube, Ratchet TV, the Hoods Journalist. Salute to God, son. I appreciate you for that 20 piece McNugget. Now I might give me some McDonald's tonight or something. I'm hungry as hell. I, I, I went to the Cowboys game, and as soon as the Cowboys game ended, I was right back here working, and I got this show off for y'all. I, I got an interview lined up at Sapphire. I was at the game working. While I was at the Cowboys game, I was working the whole time I was there. I had fun. Don't get me wrong. I trolled Cowboy fans. I had a great time at the game. But I was working the whole time I was there. So anything I get, I appreciate it. I spent a lot of money this weekend going to the Mavericks and the Cowboys games. So shit, anything I get back, trust me, it's much appreciated because I spent a lot of money having fun this weekend. But I took some time off to, to go. You know what I'm saying? We, Me and Sapphire took a vacation, man. We was just chilling. We went on vacation and we chilled. They said, can we get a 500 piece? I, I wish I got it. Can somebody send me a 500 piece? <laughs> Shit, if I do, at and Stadium. Yeah, I was there. I was I was out in, in Dallas all weekend with all these people talking shit about what I can and can't do. I'd be everywhere. Their heart won't save the black youngster still CMG. No, I don't think he's CMG no more. Cowboys disappointed my big bro over here. Jeremy, if you believed in the Cowboys, you was delusional. Dainty and Precious threw me up. I'm I'm happy. Now. I'm I'm done for the night, y'all. Dainty and Precious threw me up. 
a honey bun honey bun won't you do some for me i appreciate you dainty and pris man 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 my ratchet gang always looking out for me man i knew somebody was gonna send me another honey bun man i be i believe in y'all man i love y'all y'all are the best gang in the world i love y'all more than y'all will ever know i ain't even gonna spend too much time on this shit tonight i'm gonna be real with y'all i'm not gonna spend too much time on this i got some more shit i'm gonna drop but i just exposed to y'all that big jook is a snitch and big jook is a rat well excuse me was a rat he ain't around no more so big jook was a rat he was a snitch i got his name in paperwork big jook mr mims you're a rat bro that's why you got knocked off it was because you were gonna tell everything on everybody you got knocked off because you're a snitch big jook Tell the world how you read it. I don't give a damn about the other YouTube. Oh, man. Yo, God, he didn't have nothing. And yo, God, he had everything to do with Big Juke being out of here. It's just convenient that yo, God, he took a trip back to Atlanta right before his brother got knocked off. We're in the middle of the funeral. Middle of the funeral, he decided, oh, I'm finna dip out of here, man. I got to go. Weather finna get bad. You stick around. Salute Natasha for that the five piece. I appreciate you, Natasha. Salute, salute. Ratchet gang, y'all tell me when this video ends, what do y'all think happened, man? What the fuck is going on in this young Dolph case? Y'all let me know in the chat. I love y'all more than y'all will ever know, man. I got to get the fuck up out of here, man. I ain't got I ain't got too much more to say other than I'm always right. I'm out, gang. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Summers and wave runners, chains on my niggas like slave runners, drug dealers anonymous. How many Madonnas can that monster fit? My brick talk is more than obvious, it's ominous. Garage is the phantom, ghouls, ghosts, and goblins. Blonde mohawk, the collection, I'm Dennis Rodman. The money count is the only moment of silence, cause hush money balances all this drugs and violence. Hat trick under my mattress, day I stop, steal, hats and asterisks after it, after all, I can make a call, I can baptize a brick, as I wash away my sins like a Catholic, who the fucking master this, America's nightmares in Flint, children of a lesser God, when your melanin's got a tint, and I can't even mention what I sent or what I spent, cause my name in 18 wheelers is evidence, I put my fools in them cruise collection, like the, like the bitch, A to Z on her shoe collection, Take your pick, paid in full like 86 G's on my body. The new Gucci has less monogram. God's got it. Let he without sin cast the first stone. So I built that all glass level, level first home. Shatter all of your misconceptions. Hold all of the missing weapons. You thought I would miss my blessing. The ultimate misdirection. Yeah. Your husband was a drug dealer. For 14 years, he sold crack cocaine. Uh. Federico Fellini in the flesh. Sergio Cicchini inside his mesh. Bitch, I've been bracking since the 80s. Google me, baby, you crazy. 89 in London pulling bins up. Type it in, Google's your friend, bruh. 14 year drug dealer is still counting. Who deserves the medal of freedom is my accountant. He been hula hooping through loopholes, working round shit. I arrest should have had the townhouse surrounded. Thanks to the lawyers, I marbled the foyer, I tore the floor up, yeah. That's for the koi fish. We've been dining on oysters. I walk through the garage, it's like multiple choices. I told him pull a Royce up, I'm getting ghosts. I'm hearing noises, I think it's the boys, but I've been banging the Deutsch. We got storefronts, we got employee stuff. We've been opening studios and 4040s up. The paper trail is gorgeous. Cases we bury some before a reasonable doubt drop. The jury hung. Bling bling. Every time I come around your city, bling bling. My tenure took me through Virginia. Ask Teddy Rally Bobby. Ask the Federalis Bobby. Try to build a cell around me. Snatch my nigga Emory up. Try to get him to tell about me. He told 12, give me 12. He told him to go to hell about me. 
drug dealers anonymous Got big Ubers, the future, our cars been autonomous Mules move the drums, take them to different spots We just call the shots by simply moving our thumbs I'm a cause of miracles with this shit Nothing real can be threatened, nothing unreal exists Fearing lies, the peace of God I always knew I was a prophet, but I couldn't find a decent job Life made me ambidextrous Counting with my right, whipping white with my left wrist Damn, Daniel FBI keep bringing them all white vans through She said, what the fuck are those? Fucked her on the top floor, now she lounging in my robe yeah. I can't trust a nigga, cause that's just the way it go I can't fuck with you, little nigga, I heard that you told Got a ghetto East Oakland, bitch, I call her Keisha Cole Long hair, yeah, yeah. she don't care yeah, yeah. Extended clips, 30, 30. hollow tips, <laughs> fast motor, marijuana odor yeah, yeah. High roller, bitch, and say he bipolar hey, what you want? Rich nigga, yeah, yeah. bad bitch, yeah, yeah. you can't tell me shit, what? I don't listen, no, no. money counter, hey. lot of honey, hey. me and the blunt bitch just smoked a whole onion, hey. Hey. what you doing, me and my white bitch just smoked a whole zip, too much ice on me, damn I gave the bitch the chips, found out that he wasn't real, this shit bought me the tips, damn. found out her booty wasn't real and I didn't give a damn, <laughs> That on your back, girl, that thing look like a ham She said she get it from her mama I said, bitch, you lying A hundo for my time They like how I shine Long hair, she don't care Extended clips, hollow tips Fast motor, marijuana odor High roller, bitch, and say he bipolar Rich nigga, bad bitch You can't tell me shit, I don't listen Money count, lot of hundred. Hey. Me and the blunt bitch just smoked a whole onion. Hey. 